You know, take candle shots. Uh, oh, wait, bring it on, guys. Hunter mirror. So, what is important in a hunter mirror is that we don't face the barns, I guess. What is also important is spellstone. We gotta stack the spellstone. The spellstone is really good in a mirror. It's probably not explosive. No need to attack face. Why? What is that, like explosive really doing here? It's probably wandering monsters. This game really goes for full board control. Like, an Unhunted Mirror is actually one of the most board controlled oriented matchups till turn 5. There's not much benefit in hitting him here. Like, the first turns you trade everything you can trade in this matchup. So his um, so his spellstone is like three now. Oh, let's hope we dodge the spellstone. It's way too strong. Right, I think he showed trade here. Yeah. Uh, the reach of this one is really high. Oh my god. Might just play it though. Can't really wait. Nice. Nothing popped. Makes it a little more awkward for him as the weapon doesn't get the charge this turn. You cannot wait, wait and chill here. And he thinks exactly the same. <laughs> okay, I know what the line is here, but I'm not gonna tell it yet. I think he shall trade here. If he expects me to play it well, I'm not gonna like a hit face here that often. But maybe I do. I can mark hero power shoot. <laughs> Should have hit his face with my weapon, man. Yeah, one kill command is gone. That puts his reach a little lower too, what is really nice. Yeah. Nice that he has to play the trade game. Our trade was a little bit better, I think. As we are we are trading with flanking strikes, so there's just sub quite some value too. I guess you just go soon with the weapon, right? Just for four damage. Just four damage his face. Okay, we are the smarker here now. I he's also going first in it, so even if I top deck Rexar should probably not go for Rexar. Oh man, bad hand though. The west the best weapon of us now is the hero power. <laughs> oh, he found the life steal. That's a big problem. Oh my god, that's a huge problem. Wow, there's only one lifesteal card, man. He found it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, problem. Yeah, big problem. Huge problem. Oh man, I think I... Can I like kill command this and that he then like hits the explosive trap? 
the problem is I have to play on leash, right? And then he still heals for 7, but this has to die. I guess I need to let him heal for 7, and then I kill command next turn. Like, or I go hounds here, kill command it, but then he just trades the hound in, and it's also heal 7. I can hit the minions in turn, maybe. I don't know about this line. I think it's the only line for me. I cannot let him life steal seven, it's too much. Like he can life steal now, I can like explosive trap him twice too, so we go quick pretty fast still with damage. It looks like a super strange play, but this beast will not be tamed. I mean every turn I can deal two damage, so we're getting there guys. This is fine. No! Weasel! Not like Weasel. Oh, not Weasel. You have to think about guys, you can not play Unleash. If a Hound survives, he heals 7. So Unleash gets either played for lethal, or Unleash gets played for um, trading stuff away that is not including the lifesteal. Guys, you cannot play Unleash, are you kidding me? You just insta lose the game. It heals him for 7, if it doesn't have lethal. If Unleash doesn't read lethal, you can't really play it here. But we're getting really closer, closer, closer with every hero power. This guy's actually wrecking him. Because he's gonna get 7 one ones. It just is made, makes his board full. With rubbish. No! He got chicken. Ah! I can kill the chicken! I can... I can make the chicken poisonous! Oh, you don't kill that? What is bad chicken? Poisonous chicken! Never eat poisonous chicken! If it is explosive, be thirsty. easy game. Easy game, guys! Wow! That line, guys, that we took there against the lifesteal menu was pretty sick. Wow! That's really nice that we won this one. Yahar, yeah, hey guys, Yahar, Yahar, Yahar. Why freezing there? Why not? Why not? I have mana, I want to use it. Use and abuse. Three mana. I mean, even this is pretty fine, guys, as we now have a little bit better board present. Like, it looks really bad to have it on it. But look what we make out of it. Suddenly, we can, like, smork him much harder. And he is kind of a little bit more wrecked. Yeah, against this guy, I definitely have to be a little bit the aggro uh, guy, actually. Because of the Hydra and the, um, also the other one, the Spellstone.
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh my god. That guy got some balls there, man. No taunt. I blame if this is not a taunt. Serious! Come on! Yeah, otherwise he was now 6 damage lower, he was at 11. Your magic shall not save you. The weapon is gonna get a lot of charges. The second explosive is nuts, guys. You guys are LUL, huh? On my second explosive. No! No, come on, guys. The second explosive just wins me the game here. Hey! Man, this is unfair. This is unfair. Oh, ah. <laughs> here's a card away. <laughs> oh, this is so unfair. First, the taunt already, guys. The taunt was already so nasty. And then this. Well, his deck is not running that much burn. He runs Corkin and Arcanite Reaper, but if he doesn't have these... I must choose fly party. Five. And He's dead on board, right? Oh, he trades that one. So we know he doesn't have one damage now in the hand. Come on! Come on! Come on! Bo doesn't do it. At least does it right. Hey, I, I can't think anymore. 3, we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 11, 12, 13, 15. Yeah, and I can take... Oh my god. Oh, oh man. Oh. That game, that game. Oh.